Oh, it's doing that thing again. What in the world? Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to another episode of Kay's Lip Gloss Addiction. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay and over here we do beauty related videos. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, please be sure to subscribe. So yeah, today we are going to be talking about the new Shimmer Bombs by Makeup Revolution. They came out with a sister to the pout bomb so the pout bomb was a plumping lip gloss and it was all the rage when it came out but i never laid my hands on it but as luck would have it today they were doing a buy one get one free of all makeup at superdrug so i managed to get my hands on four and i want to try and compare the two i want to know if the new ones are also plumping if they smell the same if they're the same texture because a lot of people really did love that first collection so let's see if this is a good sister to it so i picked up four colors in the original collection and those are namely glazed which is just a clear gloss cookie which i've heard a lot of good things about and i'm really excited to try sauce which is a nice pretty mauve color and last but not least peachy so i'm going to be trying them all out and showing you what they look like on my skin tone well First we're going to be starting out with the clear one, we all know what a clear one is going to look like but I feel like there are definitely levels to clear lip gloss, like there's clear lip gloss that's just, you know, it looks like a balm, you know, and then there's clear lip gloss with high, 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 shine. <laughs> so, let's try it out. Me, ooh, I don't like when glosses do this. I don't like it, but let's keep going. Me personally, I like a gloss with super high shine and a gloss that like you don't see any of the lines in your lips. It kind of just fills in all the lines of your lips and your lips just look like a wet cherry. That's what I like. It's giving me what I like. <laughs> so far it's giving me what I like. So far what I can tell you about this gloss is that it is a very very high shine, it's like a lacquer. I really really like the way it looks. It is, um, it smells like mint and I can, I'm starting to feel the tingle. I would have preferred it to have like a, a fruity scent but at the same time mint is not a bad scent to have. It just smells fresh, it smells clean. So yeah it's not bad and I like the way it looks. Let me zoom you in so you can get into this gloss look at that <laughs> look at that gloss so yeah the gloss is really really pretty and, and I can feel it tingling and I feel like that's gonna also help to fill in those little lines in my lips so I love it I love it I love it I love it and now let's try some color so the next one we're gonna be trying is the shade called peachy surprisingly enough this does not look bad without a lip liner I'm still the kind of girl that would put a lip liner on but this does not look bad and it is pigmented like it is it's extremely pigmented and that was just one swipe another thing is i love the doe foot on this it is huge like it's large i know that is a thing right now that all the doe foots are large but this is like especially big <laughs> So this right here is a Fenty doe foot and this by itself is quite big. It's bigger than your average doe foot so it's quite large. Now we have the Lime Crime Wet Cherry doe foot and that is also quite large. And next to each other they're about the same size. Now look at these. These are large doe foots. Now look at this big boy. This is like double the size of the Fenty one and the Fenty one is big on its own. So it's really... I really like it because it deposits enough products like with one swipe. So now let's try out Sauce. So that is what Sauce looks like and it is beautiful. Like it's also quite pigmented. The formula of these glosses are very, it's very thick but I don't have a problem with it. I, I personally like thick lip glosses. It's what I'm used to. It's what I grew up with and I just like, I'm one of those, I, I like textures so I enjoy doing this like throughout the day <laughs> so I enjoy the feeling of a thick lip gloss I like that weight on my lips if that makes any sense so last but by no means least is cookie I can't wait to try this on because this is the one that people have been hyping the most 
So this one does not seem to be as pigmented as its counterparts, but I kind of like that because it makes it a lot more wearable. It's like a get up and go lip gloss. This is a beautiful, beautiful color and it complements my skin tone. I think this is my favorite one out of the, um, out of the pout bombs like this is really really nice i do really love the clear one as well because that was epic shine epic shine i'm not a fan of buying expensive lip gloss and using it as a topper so i feel like the clear one is going to be a perfect 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 topper because it's going to plump up the lips and also give you that amazing shine that i love so yeah i really really like this it's like my lips but so now let's get into the stars of the show. I'm really, really excited to try these because I love glitter. I actually, I, I, I love glitter. Especially when it comes to a gloss. A glitter gloss just, I don't know, it just grabs attention. I love it. Especially as a topper. So I also got four shades in this and I got the shade Sparkle, Glimmer, Daydream. Oh, look at this color. It's gorgeous. Look at that. And last but not least, Distortion. I have been wanting a Fenty gloss bomb in this shade for the longest of times. I think this is beautiful. Anyway, let's try it on and see if it's actually beautiful. But this, I've been wanting a gloss bomb in this shade for ages. And talking of gloss bombs, these are meant, these are supposed gloss bomb dupes however there is no shade that is like a direct dupe of any of the gloss bombs I can see why they would be cast as dupes because looking at the size of them the shape of them and the fact that they have large doe foots I see why people would class them as dupes and also the fact that they are both called bombs so I see why people would compare the two but in terms of colors there's no color that is like a dead on match apart from like obviously clear and clear but other than that there is no like real match there are two shades that i didn't get and one was it looked exactly like this and then there was a gold version and i kind of wish i picked them up but i didn't pick this one up because i didn't pick the one that looked like this because i already had this and i already have like some other silver glosses i've been dying to use this as a topper but i haven't because i don't want to mess up the beautiful color so I might just pick it up so that I can use it as a topper because I love a sparkly lip gloss on um, top of a lip combo. I just feel like it brings the it brings the combo together. <laughs> so one thing I've noticed about these is that I don't know if you guys have ever seen that TikTok trend where people were like doing this to lip glosses and then their lip gloss would go crazy. Look, look at that. Oh my god. That is insane. I heard that it has something to do with magnets, but it's actually crazy that that does that. But the thing that is that worries me is that I don't want that to just fly a glob of lip gloss into my face. That would piss me off. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into it. These smell like watermelon candy. I'm glad. I'm glad because I didn't want them to smell like mint. So this is the shade Distortion and it's not really picking up on camera but this is like a beautiful cool berry. It's beautiful. I love it. It just looks, it has sparkle but not in a way that looks childish if that makes any sense. It just looks really cute, like metallic, frosty if that makes any sense. So yeah, Distortion is a really, really beautiful shade. I really, really like it. So now the next shade we are going to try is the shade Glimmer. Now this is really nice, but I feel like we could have done with like 30% less glitter. I feel like it's too glittery to the point where it's just frosty and kind of unflattering. I feel like if I just put a little bit of this on and then put a clear gloss on top, beautiful. In fact, I'm going to do a close up of this and then I'm going to do a close up of this with a clear gloss mixed in. So I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about. It's just too, too glittery. So it just kind of looks white. So I personally feel like this would have been ideal because there's still glitter and it's still visible but it's just not taking over the whole lip. 
I feel like the more glitter there is in the lip gloss, the less shiny it is. So yeah, it just, it's a shame that it was too, too glittery, but I feel like you can still make it work by mixing it in with a clear gloss or just using less, just depending on your preference. So the next shade we are going to try is Daydream and this is so beautiful, I can't wait to put this on my lips. I love this kind of shade. So I'm in love, I feel like the glitter to gloss ratio is perfect and this is just a colour that I love. So this reminds me very much of Juicy Cherry by um, Lime Crime. So they're not exactly the same but they are very similar. But yeah, this is very very pretty, let me show you a close up. So yeah, I really, really love the shade. I am happy with it. It is just the perfect ratio of glitter to gloss. I love it. And I just love the scent. They all smell so good. And last but not least, let's try Spark. Ooh, it's doing that thing again. What in the world? This is insane. So for that, I just like wipe it on the edge of the thing so it doesn't squirt into my face, but I don't know, it's cool but kind of annoying. So to me this is definitely having a similar issue to Glimmer, except th this is worse because this colour is not necessarily a flattering colour on anyone's lips I don't think. Don't get me wrong, I do love a blue glitter gloss, I have like quite a few that have a pinky blue shift to them, but this one is too much glitter for the gloss, like it's overwhelming and it just looks crazy. But as I said with the first one, I think this would be nice, you just need to mix it in with a clear lip gloss. So, I'm not too too disappointed, but it just, I shouldn't have to mix it, they should mix, like it should be perfect. But then again, I guess it's all a case of preference, I can't really fault them for making it this way. Maybe some people like it this way, but for me personally, this is, this is not my tea, this is not my zhuzh. But anyway, let me put on my favourite lippy and be right back and give you my give you a roundup of my final thoughts so i'm back and i'm wearing distortion because that was my favorite out of all of so, them so yeah for my final thoughts i feel like this gloss for only five pounds is really really nice the only ones that i didn't really like were these two and that is sparkle and glimmer i feel like they would be nice over a lip gloss i mean I feel like they could be nice toppers but because they are so thick and so rich in glitter I don't even know if that is true. I mean I could try it and update you in the comments. But so quick update, both Glimmer and Sparkle are beautiful as toppers. I'm wearing Sparkle as a topper right now over a nude lipstick combo and it is beautiful. Now all the other glosses they were amazing, they were so nice. So one thing I did notice is that these shimmer ones are not plumping, so you don't feel any tingle, you don't feel any sensation. And the So as I was saying, basically, the shimmer ones are not plumping and the plumping ones are a comfortable plump. Like it feels, it's not too extreme, it doesn't hurt. Me personally, I kind of like an extreme plumping feeling, I like that tingle. This does tingle, but it's not like, it's not painful, it's very comfortable, it just feels cooling. So you might enjoy the sensation. I, I personally don't, I don't have a problem with the sensation. They are thick in formula and I love, love, love the big bow foot. So yeah, all in all these glosses are really nice and I would suggest you go pick them up. Especially, especially, especially this bad boy, Distortion. Distortion is beautiful. Distortion, what else? Distortion, Daydream and cookie are essentials the top two are dist distortion and cookie and if i could go back i would go pick up the gold one i would put that on the screen the name of it and maybe the silver one but yeah for now i would say for now do i recommend them i would give them a three out of five because the ones that just because it's inconsistent there are ones that are really really amazing and then there's ones that are just less amazing so yeah those are my thoughts on the glosses please be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you got to this point leave me a nice comment and please be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed <laughs> so that is it for today's video i'll see you in the next one